Tyler, you're welcome to another exciting episode of your favorite entertainment show, Campus Vibe, right here on BBN TV. I am your host, Warbeck Niai Robertson, aka Caesar, aka Bradbilly, aka Que Que Forever. Today, the topic on the table is about, I mean, moderating dressing on campus. Is it even important for the institutions to moderate how people dress on campus? If yes, why? And if no, why? I have in the studio beautiful ladies, two beautiful ladies, uh, to help me digest this topic. But before we get into it, like we always do on this show, let's go for a quick musical break. And when we come back, like I always say, show it, Bajin. Talking, talking day and night, scary places to me inside. Niggas, the streets, they be out in line. I bet on my life, they know if you cross my line. What we have my one side, one lie Billy my box, she my chin, she's not so I'm gonna sign my bill, I don't know the vibes Try to turn on my back, I got my phone Yo, cock up on the door, it be me Take to a boy, me a fresh low key Talk my case, you got small, some hits West side, we don't do no play Me say Philly, 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 Philly I say chrome boy, bro, me call giddy, giddy Tough time, now me see the woman, Jimmy, Jimmy Back your case, no Philly, Philly Yo, I know the laugh in my side, yeah, bro, me a Welcome back guys, and if you just tuned in, you've tuned in to the right place. This is Campus Vibe GH. Guys, do go to our YouTube channel and subscribe at BBN TV and all our social media handles. It's time to get into the topic of today, and my lovely ladies are already seated. Hello ladies. Hi darling. How are you doing? <laughs> Good. I like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> like, hi, darling. <laughs> yes. Anyway, yes. Uh, quickly, please tell me your name, uh, what you do. If there's any information we need to know about you, let us know quickly. All right. So my name is Gladys Baini, mm -hmm. um, school ambassador of Nasford University College. All right. Yes. Uh, what about you, Sita? Okay, Victoria Marco, okay. fashion designer. Fashion designer. Oh, okay. You want to tell me? Anyway, so like I said earlier on, today we are looking at uh, moderation of dresses on campus now first of all do you think that it's even good for institutions to moderate how people dress on campus if yes why and if no why all right thank you mm -hmm. for the question and right. i think dressing on campus should be moderated mm -hmm. in the sense that if dresses are not being moderated and everybody can dress anyhow to school okay especially when you take the ladies for instance they can wear anything and it can lead to so many things. So if their dressings have been moderated, I think they will know what to wear okay. and what not to wear right. because it's an institution, it's a school uh, educational um, institution. So okay. if you are coming, that means you are coming to acquire knowledge. knowledge. You are not coming to show off. So I think dressing in school so should, should be, moderated. be moderated, yes. What about you, Bainy? Do you also think that it should be moderated? You being a fashion designer, I don't think you, you want your inst the institution to moderate how people dress. It will affect you, oh? <laughs> in fact, she is my fashion designer. Oh, and okay. if I'm going for a program, she will tell me that Please, you have to wear this. You have to wear that. Oh, okay. So she's very good in selecting dresses. Oh, that, that's great. So uh, yes. still back to the question. Uh, yeah. Do you think that it's good for institutions to moderate the dressing on campus? Yes, it's, uh. it's good because um, you can't just wear anything to mm -hmm. school, like mm -hmm. to campus. Yeah. So I think moderate, the moderation will be yeah. okay. 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 still on you binding. Once again, I am buying it. Hey, sorry, too. <laughs> sorry for uh, uh, Victoria. Right, uh, still on you. You being a fashion designer once again. Do you think that if they moderate the way people dress on campus, I, some students say they will feel uncomfortable and that will hinder the way they learn or maybe go to lectures? What do you think about that? Um, I think um, that's not true. Mm -hmm. You can, you can, you know, look good and then. Um, still look fashionable, mm -hmm. yeah. So um, you, you just have to dress decent. decent. Is, is that what you are saying? Yes. Okay. You can dress, you can dress the very decently, mm -hmm. and then I, I get you. Now let's come to you, Bainy. Um You know, some students when we spoke to them said that the main purpose of them going to campus is to study. Okay. Not to you know live a fashionable sure. yes. life, and others to say no. I came here to study, but I can as, as well to different you know, kind of be fashionable. What do you think? Which side do you think is more advantageous to the other? 
They are all cool because when we go to school, apart from uh, being in the lecture hall, we also learn different things. Sometimes you can learn someone's good character mm -hmm. on campus. So okay. in school or in any institution, we don't just go because we want to go and sit in the classroom or wherever it is to learn, but we want to acquire different knowledges. And the same way that when someone is having um, a bad character, you can also pick it up okay. in school. Mm -hmm. There are some people, when they are going to invest in the beginning, like the first year, mm -hmm. when you see the addressing also for mommy, <laughs> <laughs> you see very, good. very good, like, hey, lady, where do you descend to? Man, on the level 200, level 300, now nah, 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 okay. But it's because of the way people dress in the school. Okay. Ophelia said they are only mm -hmm. old-fashioned. Mm -hmm. But you have to be conf confident in whatever you are doing. Mm -hmm. My, I always believe that I don't like condemning people okay. when they dress the way I don't think I can dress that way. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's how they feel. Okay. They feel. But if it's against the rules and regulations in the school, then it should be, it should be taken care of. But um, the issue of this people thinking that if I am going to school to learn, but I also want to mm -hmm to be more fashionable, to wear what I want, because that is how I feel. Mm -hmm. In some certain way, I can say that is they are maybe they are, they are, their own idea. Their own, their own ideas. Own okay. Okay. But if only your dressing is not tempting anyone, it's not giving any suspicion, suspicion uh, towards anyone. It's not tempting anyone. It's not giving any suspicion um, ideas because there was a guy here, I can say, say, and when there was a problem in that very institution, no one. He's the first, first point, person. Person, point. He said, "Guy, we say no one who do bet me a comfort, or bet me a say." Into your way of dressing, you bet me a money pardon. Say whether you were a bad, bad person, person or a good person. So you don't just have to let people talk about how you dress. Okay. One guy says, "I will dress," and another says, "Come from what bad name be entire we We'll come and then dive yeah. more into the character aspect of yeah. it. But uh, Madam Vic, now I, I will always say you being a fashion designer because I want more of your questions to relate to that side. Now, what? What's the thin line between dressing decent and being fashionable? Or, no, dressing indecent and being fashionable. I said, hey, dressing with the and your fashion, a baby, and your what you say, and now with the fashionable between the ash, between a shed, the aqua baby. Semi to a see, I'm not sure. Say, at a year, you're better say, a year fashionable, and I'm not sure. A year madness, you know, some of this. Styles and you know clothing Crazy that people wear now. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, and also we can say say if you are at area, you should check to check to say we so bit bit much it be bit say jeans. Now you should check. This is nice that glad is the kind of say we could come in. We be our shirt at area. We come at area no. All right, but we say to check at area. Ni ni na. We to check ni na mana it is in toko toko. Eh eh. No no. I don't see say a fashion. Fashion. Okay. What for me? Why then? I always say I call it chicha. And I think say a fashion shouldn't be say it uh, it being crazy and a year fashion. Mm, okay. Fashion year. So now while best shirt are in. So now the best see see you know. Alright. Aha. So now make us say a year fashion. So now best see see you be looking good. Okay. Uh, at our okay. 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 So we'll, we'll get more into that. But before that, let's go for a quick uh, break. And when we come back, Charlie, we're still here discussing about campus dressing. Organizing an event can be very hectic and frustrating and so many things can go wrong. But with Big Brains Network of you covered with no disappointment when it comes to event organizing and event coverage, we are the best with 100% track record of organizing some of the best award shows in the country. Call us on 54 844 Email us on bigbrainsnetwork at gmail.com. Yeah, welcome back, Spartans. I know you are enjoying this show very much. And before we went on the break, we we're talking about campus dressing. Charlie, subscribe to our YouTube channel at BBN TV and all our social media handles as well. You can follow me personally at Brabilly on all social media handles. Now let's get back to our interview. Yeah, so um Vic, no, let me start you with Vic. Yeah, Vic. <laughs> Vic. Once again, you be a fashion designer, eh? Uh, now, some students say that when they moderate how they, you know, they dress on campus, it will hinder their creativity. I say, say, yes, you be anxious, get yours, Anna. Or more, some wear fashion in the future, no? 
they won't be able to bring out their creativity. What What do you think about that? Are they, are they right? And I say, you know. Yes, they are. They are right. right. Yeah, in what way? Because I think say, the more you dress, it, the more you dress in, the mm -hmm. more unya eh nimdi ideas ideas are. Obey me, I dare create be before for to say, Unim Semedi would make a car with boom, boom, and she will be a mammy way. Okay, now so it should be decent. And can you come and buy some? So, so I said, we should allow them to do that. And that's all be a bit more fashion. That be a co campus there, and you're decent. What's your session? I start glad this kind of and got so since you don't call. Cause any problem. problem still on that question yeah. what was your take on that yes i think uh, vic is right mm -hmm. because when um you consistently try something and then amount more ideas into so open so when she had the permanent so when inside the permanent so consistently when one try one hand on it uh, you, you, you yeah, yeah the same thing as obvious so person why a fashion designer or so on creating your baby to get more ideas mm -hmm. but say uh, abia or your moderator to wear only jeans trial debia on to me bringing new ideas mm -hmm. as vic said it should it should be decent but then you say i said yeah more quite say she be being to be be an hour me there's a young girl in my school on a castle best school feel comfortable whom you know Johnny me I need show but anytime you be whom you be your friend mommy but when she see me she's running away sometimes because of the way she's dressed so one castle wash idea no but you don't feel comfortable but even if you want to be a fashion designer doesn't mean say she be be an hour one castle home crop and I feel feel it say any power wish you on me that they will talk about you I feel what's one who say any for me no castle cry you feel like they are talking about you so we should be decent, that's all. Okay. We, we can be fashionable and decent as well. Now, but I'm still on, on that. I know this question that I'm about to ask, it will be very controversial. Okay. You know, some school of thought thinks that the way some people dress, especially the ladies, brings about this uh, social immorality. I say teachers, and then the teachers want to have something to do with these ladies. Do you think it's a major factor to that? Yes. You know, I... In our first conversation, I said that mm -hmm. because sometimes the way you are dressed can attract both your teacher and your stu the mm -hmm. student as well. Mm -hmm. Because a lecturer will be very confused to see a young girl dre dressed in a very bad manner. <laughs> and some ladies don't even know how to sit. So, what dress in decent in a way? Yes, TV. <laughs> show the every channel. So, I think say, dressing in school, it should be moderated from both from the primary to the tertiary. You know, since a year school, a year course, you are there. I say, you tell me who can be fast for a basic say you. You can be decent and look very nice. Me, me, me design not on pan matari be a year short, but matari be or be pan be as it's very, it looks very good on me. So it doesn't matter. Say, say one shot. I ran now when you were body. Now I'm chuchu chuchu. Now I'm yanne basa basa. And then the were looking nice. Sometimes we yanne say akura. We an kasa we na mu sa tare na mfatao. But you person we yanne create na waye. So I think say. Now now. Okay. It depend the fabric now. Yeah, they pam a tire and any texture of a tire and a senate. But I say, if you want my say body corn fabrics and stretchy fabric, you say, once they be so a bit mashing decent sentence, lay your body corn. And also, and also, they had you most of the time. I drop a beer. I ain't seen you wash it. Why any decent one? Okay, sentence soon, and also your body corn. Okay, and that's what I'm saying. You know, fabric and texture. But I've been, I've been to. Uh, you know, lectures sometime way back in the uni where um, a lady student in theater at washe jeans, shorts, what I said, no, I said, I hey, bra, be no more share, no, no, they are bad hey, lectures. Yeah. Hey, no, sir, no. Is it madness? And I say, fashion. No, that's not fashion. That's not that's fashion. Not fashion. Mm. fashion. Mm. fashion <laughs> interest will be you who be bringing a, a, a fair and a, a fashion. Sometimes the nice that we are a bit more dressed, decent, but. I don't see a fashion. With machine and long, long, mm. very long, what cover be a beer, mm. but send out the DBC, you know, the way you mm. rock it now. And then the man I can answer my mother besides this year and see who they are. So you can't say decent, I'll be addressing decent. And, and they say you've um, won something from her to toe, or even if it's short cry, it looks much appealing to the eyes. What's the difference? 
Uh, Madam, uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Okay, yeah. so when we say this and that doesn't mean say share my insu when I see try and maybe go from one a decent. You can wear as matter away. You can say it's, it's a decent dress yeah. because at least I cover me, come cover up to my knee. Okay. And um, I look good. I feel like I look good in it. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm comfortable with it. Okay. But. So we be shine the tent, we be better match the tent, but now we pay more in it. So to describe this tent, you know, it's in different different ways. And now to say be a whole co program be now we question a tariff be a is it one so bad? So now we can name me or the 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 ama we be able to be a said a we be a whole one now show. So this tent in there is in different ways. Alright, still on you though. Um, now, um. Some students would think that you are infringing on their rights. I say, "Unto me, shame me. University in Sudie, in Kenya, SHS and as a GHS. In the other na, so mommy, ah, say me shut a day we. I know some. Do you think say they are right? And I say, uh, it doesn't infringe on their rights in any way. That's where they got it wrong because since you decide to go to school, mm -hmm. schools have rules and regulation, as I said earlier. And you say, "Oh, person won't go to school." They say, "Oh, question will be asked. Oh, question name the entity." And no, nipe be a entity ne be answer. Yes, no. Okay. Yes, you to do something. And you know, if you are in education institution there, then you have to be ready to abide by rules and regulation. Say school ne kasa yeye school ha. We want to make kwa SD school as we ban and kasa obeshe trial. It's not done there. Okay. And you know, when you go to Rome, you do what Romans do. So if you you think like nobody can control you, you can't abide by any rules. Stay in your house. Don't go anywhere. Nobody will come and control in your house. But the moment you step out there. To join a, a group of people, mm -hmm. then you have to abide by, by rules by and regulation. What do you think? Yeah, that's true. You also think that uh, they should conform to the rules and regulations. Yeah, we yeah. yeah. will be a school. I will be a mission, of course. Yeah. No, no. Okay. On that note, um, we have this segment, our second segment of the show. Let's go check our student profile of the week, and when we come back, we'll wrap up the show. Malik Ofori was born on the 19th of July in 1993. He is a Ghanaian YouTuber, filmmaker, a singer, and a songwriter. He did the soundtrack of the popular Ghanaian TV series, YOLO, which he featured Borje and Daniel K. Jr. Malik is also a known popular Ghanaian influencer with his content reaching the world. He has achieved so much at his age and that has made him gain so much followers all across the world. From S to you, Malik, we say keep up the good works. Yeah, so that was some profile of uh, one of our students. Charlie, every week like we do, we are going to bring you one profile from someone doing an amazing job, you know, motivating all the students to do well in Ghana here. Yeah, so... Charlie, this is where I get to do my skirmishes, you understand? I get to give up the boss of the show, proper, proper, you understand? Charlie, we are going we are come to have fun, so relax, relax. Mm -hmm. Today we are doing riddles. I hope you know. What? Riddles. <laughs> so I'm going to read it out, then you tell me what it is, you understand? Simple. Make it zero by zero. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I know you're smart. I know you're smart. Okay. You get it. Why? So, hey, the first one is going to. I mean, five weeks can start. Okay, so let's, let's start. So, riddle riddles. Uh -huh. What has to be broken before you can use it? What has to be, to be broken? broken before you can use it? Egg. Hey! <laughs> Anyway, let's go to the Riddle, riddles. I am tall. When I am young, I am short. When I'm old, what am I? Let me read it out again. I am tall when I'm young. I am short when I'm old. What am I? What could that be? Tall, young. I'm tall when I'm young. And I'm short when I'm old. What am I? What is it? Try not to make my hand see this. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know it. Can you? 
Eh? Oh my when God. When it's young, it's tall. You understand? Okay, so when it's old, the more you use it, it's short. Oh, okay. okay. Wow. Weak. And then Vic, Vic, you know you, so you have you had one out of two. Eh, so I've done to well. Vic. Vic, riddle, riddle. Mm. Uh, what month of the year has twenty eight days? Ah, it's February. With wow. Twenty eight. What days. month of the year has twenty eight days? Twenty eight days. It's February. No, the answer is all of them. Which one is all of them? All the months have has twenty eight days. Mm. <laughs> no, this is confusion. <laughs> All the month has twenty yeah, eight days, and I'm a boy. Yeah, that's why it's a riddle. It's not just straightforward something. What month of the year has twenty eight days, and all of them has twenty eight days? Mm -hmm. All of them has twenty eight days, and some are thirty. Yeah, so. <laughs> <Just Otias here. laughs> I can. Let's go to the next one. Okay, uh, what? Is full of holes, but still holds water. With their teeth. Oh, Charlie. Full of holes. Mm, but still holds water. Ah, me mal kuli. Me mal kuli. Full of holes. Every day I bath. Yesterday I bath. Shower. Today I am bathing. What is that? Every day I bath. Yesterday I bath. Tomorrow I shall bath. Already I am bathing. Oh, still in where is it? Is it a uh, water closet or something? No, it's a sponge. <laughs> a sponge. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't hold water. water. It holds water. Sponge does. Oh, please. Oh, come on. How long can water? <laughs> uh, Whether it holds it for one minute, two seconds, <laughs> <laughs> holds water. Anyway, it's been fun having you ladies on the on the set, and I've enjoyed you know the discussion very well. But quickly before you go, um, just uh, tell, give us your final words, it's mainly and especially on decent dressing, uh, especially to the students, okay. and then tell us. What you do, um, how we can find you, and all, and all that, you know, and shout out to your fans as well. Okay, so my final words to go to, especially the ladies mm -hmm. on campus, we should understand that um, dressing on campus sometimes defines who you are. So we should be very careful how we dress mm -hmm. because sometimes the way you dress can land you into a problem, mm -hmm. and the same dressing can also give you a very good um, position that you, you don't even expect exactly. because exactly. Um, people usually criticize people who doesn't dress decently. Right. Okay. So I will encourage all of us, since we are in school, we should abide by rules and regulation guiding that very institution. And we should dress well because even if it's men you are looking out there for, men doesn't like indecent women. You just you taste, we will party with you, then we will marry the Christian people. Uh, then, yeah. That is the truth. <laughs> so, men doesn't like indecent women. So, if okay. you think that you dressing indecent can land you a good man, then I'm sorry. It's okay. not true. So, right. and okay, so shout out to all my fans, AIM Ghana fans, mm -hmm. and Nasford University College. Mm -hmm. Greetings to um, the Pro Chancellor, um, Mr. John Kwamina Isel. God bless you for your good work and your support so far. And to level 200 upper um, business administration, you are watching me, Charlie. Thank you all. Hi. Madam Vig, mm -hmm. your submission and your final words. <laughs> okay, so I think I'll say, yeah, the decent dressing mm -hmm. is very important. Mm -hmm. You can, you know, look good and then still mm -hmm. look fashionable. So all right. I think the decent dressing is very necessary on campus. Okay. Yeah. And um, any shout outs to anyone, your boyfriend, your right. husband. <laughs> to be yeah, to be yeah. yeah, so and tell us where we can find you, you know, if you want us to make some you are a fashion designer, so just yeah, tell so us. So I think I'll just put my social media handle. Okay. It's um, GH mm. underscore. All right. Yeah, on Instagram and I click on Facebook. All right, all right. Ooh. So guys, so let's check them out, you know. And guys, once again, thanks for being in the studio. I appreciate every minute of your time. Thank you. It's been fun. It's been amazing. And above all, it's been educative. This has been Campus Vibe, another exciting episode. Charlie, shout outs to the crew members, shout outs to Chichi, shout outs to Sylvie, my producer, shout outs to my director, 
Talent, I was, I don't want to mention your names if you didn't me. <laughs> Shout out to the camera guys. <laughs> Shout out to Aid, everyone who has made the show possible. Yeah, possible. Until next time, I say be good. If it's not in, it's not. I'm not going to Charlie, we are out of here. Bye. <laughs>